My stick bag design originated, it would have been around 2006. There was a, an audition in Chicago Symphony. In the first round, when, when you show up at the hall, they didn't tell you what you were gonna play on the first round until you were on stage. And then you get out there and they're like, okay, start on marimba. Thank you very much. Now, you know, that sounded terrible. Try this one. <laughs> Go to xylophone. Okay, that was terrible too. But at any rate, between each excerpt that they had me playing, I wasn't able to prepare for those. I wasn't able to go, okay, well, I'm doing Porgy and La Mer and this, and so I have my sticks kind of laid out and ready to go. I felt really self-conscious digging through my stick bag and taking what felt like extraneous time finding the implements I wanted for those excerpts. So after they promptly cut me wisely from the first round, on the plane ride home, I sort of started thinking like, this is stupid, like why? Why do they make these bags with these giant pockets and these big reservoirs? And then I started thinking about being at work. Same thing happens in rehearsal. You're playing a passage and then you realize like, actually, you know, I want it to sound different. I want to try this other pair of sticks. And then you're back there like a dingbat, you know, rifling through your bouquet of flowers, trying to find your, the right pair of mallets. And so I took like a week hold up in a workshop and I just kind of went to town. I went to the fabric store and bought some stuff and I just, I just kind of, started. It's sort of a train wreck of a piece of sewing, but it worked. And I used it for like a decade until I redesigned and came up with like a legit bag, the sort of the highlights of my crude bag. And then we sort of adapted it to a, a more uh, <laughs> professional and, and frankly, just superior, superior bag for your stuff.